Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So like I said in the video before, you guys probably didn't see it, but it was in the description if you guys paid attention to that. I did say there was going to be a big announcement in the next video and this is the next video. So that announcement, it will be announced in my Discord later sometime tomorrow or the next day, but I wanted to show you guys in the video first. I'm actually planning on putting together a hide and seek event. And what that means is I'm going to be making an announcement and I'm going to choose people from my Discord to participate in the hide and seek event. And it'll all be recorded and stuff. And I don't know how I'm exactly I'm going to do it yet. I just know I want to put together a hide and seek event and I'm going to ask people like Sorter and Twill to help me. And we're probably going to have like three groups or something. I'm going to try and get as many people as I can probably I'm gonna try and get to like 30 some but we'll see when we put it all together we're probably gonna have like three separate games and then take the winners from those games and put them into one and we'll see what we do but I just wanted to let you guys know if you're not in my discord yet please please go down below and join it you'll have a chance to join the hide and seek event and be in my, one of my future videos this will probably take place and within the next week or so so just be ready for that. I'll put an announcement in my Discord for the times and dates and everything, and you guys will get to see that. But yeah, just make sure to join my Discord, and you guys will get all the information for that in there. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I have something I should have made this a long time ago because this is one of the basic tutorials that one of the most basic tutorials that I could have made, and I just refused to for whatever reason. But in this video, I want to show you guys the easiest way to get all 24 legendaries now this strategy here is going to show you all the ways that you can possibly level up your pirate so that it makes the rng play in your favor for getting all the legendaries i mean i made a mistake saying there's 24 there's actually 26 now i believe with jack sparrow spyglass and sword of triton added now but that doesn't really affect the strategy because sword of triton is a sword and jack sparrow spyglass is a sailing item so yeah the strategy still applies even though those two were added and this strategy will continue to apply probably for Ever. Honestly, this isn't that complicated, and I'm gonna log into my alt to show you guys this strategy because it does. My alt is better suited for this. So now that we're logged into my alt, which was actually made to test out the strategy, I will show you guys what you need to do. So obviously, I can't really repeat the steps to get into the strategy. It would take me way too much time, and I don't want to make a soul per a whole new pirate for the sole purpose that I could just explain this all to you. And anyways, it's easier to explain it all to here because this pirate actually has proof that this strategy works. So basically, you start out at level one you start out at level one the only weapon you have is a sword and that's the first weapon you get you don't have to unlock and many people don't know this but you don't have to unlock gun you can just skip over the black pearl quest and not even unlock it now if we go into my skills here you'll see that i actually do have gun unlocked and there is a reason for this that reason is lobbies a lot of people don't know this as well but you actually need to have a gun unlocked to do lobbies and kind of sucks because it for a second i thought it did ruin my strategy because my strategy was to unlock sword and just sword stick with sword and grenade because the only legendary grenade you can get is storm sphere there's no famed grenades besides the moonstone one which is very uncommon and the idea behind this method is that if you eliminate items that are in the loot pool it narrows your chances it narrows your chances to just swords and there's only a limited amount of common, crude, famed, rare swords, making it so that it is more common that you can get a legendary sword. And I guess it's not really proof because I don't I don't really have any other legendary sword besides Devil's Claw, and I do have Storm Sphere on this count as well. But just for context, I got these legendaries both in a day. Both of these legendaries were found in a day, and I didn't loot. I mean, I may have looted Watcher for like a couple hours on this pirate, but nothing else other than that. This was These two were found within a day, maybe like eight hours of looting combined spent finding these two. In a big big reason for that is because I don't have, I mean, I have gun unlocked, but as you can see, it's not leveled past one. And the reason behind that is if you do level it past one, it opens up your chances to find level seven crude and common guns. To keep it at level one, I don't believe there's any common guns at our level six. There might be a couple out there, but none that I can think of off the top of my head. And that is basically the method is you want to stick with sword, don't unlock gun, don't unlock voodoo doll, don't unlock dagger. You can unlock grenade because you can't get common grenades and loot, but you don't unlock staff either. Just stick with sword and grenade, max those two. And now that Jack Sparrow's Spyglass has come out, it's it's a pretty common legendary. You should you should be leveling up your sailing. 
so you can actually loot that. I believe you need level 25 ceiling to be able to loot it. And you guys know Sword of Trian is a sword, so you already have Sword unlocked for this method, so there's no need to unlock it. And you might be wondering, if you've unlocked just Sword and Grenade, how are you going to get all the other, other legends? Well, the theory behind that is, if you unlock Sword and Grenade, get all the legendary swords first, you got those out of the way. Go to all the bosses, get those. Go to Goldrum, Shallows, whatever you want. Get those legendary, OG legendary cursed swords. And the theory is, once you have those out of the way, then you can move on to the next weapon. And this is where it comes all down to preference, because you have guns, which there are two legendary guns. You can either go for those, you can go for the two legendary dolls. Now you don't need staff unlocked to get the legendary staff, because you can buy it with haunted bones. So you technically don't ever need to unlock staff. You can just keep it gone, and you can still get the legendary staff because you don't need staff to buy it. And then of course you can get the spyglass, like I said, if you get sailing to level 25. The spyglass should be a bit easier because that's there's only like three items in that loot pool. And then you got the two daggers, of course. And then that's it. After that, you're you're done. Like, you're, you're all good. So yeah, like I said, after you finish all the legendary swords, it's up to preference. I would personally say go guns first, and then I would probably save dolls for last because with dolls you cannot get Lost Art of El Patron or Silver Freeze from General Hex. So it's a lot. E it would be a lot easier and it would make more sense to go for Calypso's Radiance last. But yeah, I'm going to put a cheat sheet for this last for the last minute of this video so you guys can follow along here. Basically what I said was go for Sword first, get all the Legendary Swords. Next, go for Guns. After Guns, I would probably say go for Daggers and then you can eventually save up to buy that Staff. And then after the Staff, you just got Unlock Doll and you'll be able to get the Calypso's Radiance and Soul Weaver. And then other than that, you're good. That's the method. That's all there is to it. Like I said, pretty simple, but I've never gone into it in a video. I've never really gone in depth with it. But yeah, I hope you guys can try this out. Use it for yourselves. Let me know how it goes, because this is this is probably the best method I've seen to get legendaries quick. And if you guys want to get all 24 as fast as possible, all 26, I'm sorry, I would say this is the best method to do so. But without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like down below if you did. Remember, I dropped that announcement at the beginning. Make sure to join my Discord. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.